Hey folks, Brendan here from Blue Light. How are we doing today? Um, it's been a good day for me. It's been great actually, uh, getting back into one-to-one uh, -one coaching uh, with a client. Yes, real face-to-face, one-to-one coaching with a real person. Um, not done that since February 2020. It's been a long time. It's been too long. It's been too long. So here we are in the centre of York, and this is the view we've actually enjoyed today. Look at that, eh? How about that for a view? A room with a view, as they say. Oh my goodness, there's a cliche. So there's York Minster uh, behind us, and uh, what an awesome day. What a magnificent day of learning. I'm so pleased to be back in doing the one-to-one -one coaching. It's something I really, really love. Um, why? Because we uncover so much it's like a marathon of learning to prepare for in this case it was for the final interview so it's a whole day where we just practice debrief practice debrief practice debrief so i'm going to take you through some of the uh, questions that we practiced and some of the learning if that's okay with all of you um i can just see some shout i'll do some shout outs first off people who've just arrived so ryan and richard and chanel and rebecca james uh susan and uh, MD, I don't know who MD is, but uh, anyway, you're all very, very welcome uh, joining me here live uh, in the Blue Light group. And if you're not part of the Blue Light group, if you're watching this on the replay elsewhere, then click the links below. Below you will find the link to the amazing, amazing uh, Blue Light Facebook support group. Almost 20,000 members now in that group, all helping to support each other in the police recruitment process and beyond. So once they've established their careers, moving on to promotion and specialist interviews and everything to take you from where you are now into the police and beyond. So let's take a look at some of the questions that we looked at. I'm not gonna mention the force, I'm not gonna mention the individual um, because you know it just wouldn't be fair, would it? So first of all, we took a look at the question, why do you want to be a police constable? The learning from this is that you need to be specific so um, this individual is actually a special constable, uh, which is, means they've got loads that they can talk about. And they said uh, how not, you know, everything is not as it seems in the media. So what do you mean by that? You know, let's expand because the answer was just two minutes long. This is an hour long video, an hour long, not video, this won't be an hour long. It's an hour long interview. So you've got to fill it with uh, more than just a two minute answer. So. Uh, more detail, more detail. All right, next question was why this force name? I'm not going to say what the force is, but why this particular force? Um, and it's a different force to the one that they're actually in as a special constable. So there's two things that needed to come out of this. One, why this force is more appealing than the one that they're actually in. Uh, and the second one, second point that came out of it is answer the question. Don't answer another question. So they started going off on um, the, the challenges that exist for that force. That's the answer to a completely different question. Is that making sense so far? All right, then we got to what challenges does this force face and how do you believe you'll be able to help us with it? So uh, this is about, first of all, recognizing what the challenges are. Um, and again, the answer was far too short, so it needs more examples and detail. So there's no point in just saying road crime is one of the priorities. Explain why road crime is one of the priorities and explain some examples of what the force is doing to deal with it. Next, uh, transferable skills. What do you think you can do to help us meet these challenges? Um, focus on three. Don't just go off on uh, 10 different skills that you have too much, far too much, just focus on three. So we focused on three, but one of the things that was missing was actually naming them specifically. So we got round to that um, and then explained why those were transferable skills and why they would actually help. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, we got a long way with that one. Um, next, we're into some competency type questions, working with others to solve a problem. We fell into the special constable trap, uh, the tea and medals trap. So uh, to quote my client today, uh, this was a significant job. Yeah, it was a significant job. It was an awesome bit of police work, um, but it didn't actually enable you to identify and describe any of the behaviours that they're looking for in the um, the competence um, that is linked to 
uh, working with others to solve a problem. Uh, so uh, next as well, a uh, big problem with too much we uh, and not enough I. Far too much describing what we did and not what I did. A time when you've had to plan and prioritise um, a number of tasks. Um, the actual uh, described again, you know, what they did, the client described what they did in terms of prioritising tasks, but didn't explain how they did it. So again, detail, detail, detail around the how. Uh, challenge and inappropriate behaviour, um, same thing, uh, short on the actual how they challenge the behaviour. There's a great example, but just short on detail. So how, 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 how? Um, how many times do I need to say that, folks? Um, what do you think you'll enjoy and what, do you f what will you find um, challenging? Um, now, uh, we, we looked at the serenity prayer here. <laughs> the serenity prayer. So that was interesting. Um, uh, give me the grace to accept the things I can't change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. My it'll make sense to my client. This is in terms of uh, finding things challenging and some of the frustrating things that you are going to come across whilst you're in the police. Um, what do you think the role involves and what sort of things do you think you'll be dealing with in two years' time? Uh, Theresa May, ten year, 12 years ago, uh, previous Prime Minister said uh, that policing uh, should be doing nothing more than, nothing less than to cut crime. It's far more than that, isn't it? So we talked about um, professional curiosity, information sharing, collaborative working, problem solving and how very little of what you deal with will, will actually have to do with crime. Um, what impact will policing have on your personal life? Oh my goodness, there's one big thing that you can talk about at the very end. Um, but please do make sure you talk about uh, mental health, uh, trauma, and uh, but the, the one big thing, oh my goodness, this one big thing nails it. Shall I share it with you? Pride, pride, uh, go into that. And then we went back on to another uh, competency related question. Tell me about a time when you've had to make a difficult decision. Now, this was awesome, this was. Uh, we did the seven levels of how, um, and again, detail. What you're looking at here is taking a decision that was a difficult one and turning it into an easy one to make. And so eventually this individual this client came up with a consensus decision. Oh, awesome, it was beautiful, beautiful, consensus decision. But we, uh, this was only in a debrief, and we had to go through a lot of uh, me asking for detail. So again, detail, really important. Now, one of the things that I think you could do as a top tip here, if you're generating evidence for your interviews, is to have like a pocket notebook for your evidence is the same as you will when you're in the police. Because one of the things my client couldn't do today is they couldn't remember some of the detail, even down to the types of questions they asked their fellow teammates and why they asked those questions, sort of open questions, which open questions and why they asked those questions. So this is really, really the, the sort of level of detail that they're looking for in the interview. Does that make sense, folks? Um, anyway, have a little pocket notebook and write down the things that you've done, not just what you did, but how you did it, how you did it. So folks, I'm gonna shoot off now. I'm gonna leave you with at uh, six o'clock and can you hear them? There's the six o'clock chimes from York Minster. I love this location. What a great location to do one-to-one -one coaching in. Uh, great view of the Minster, right in the centre of York. If you'd like to find out more, check the links below. You don't have to come up to York though. One-to-one -one coaching, webinars, online courses, everything. All you need to take you from where you are now, wanting to join the police to where you need to be, actually in the police and beyond. So a few more shout outs to Carl, Gary, Melissa, uh, Holly's watching, Jason, Cameron, uh, Laura, good evening to you, Alicia, Andrew, Jez, uh, William, Marvina, Trevor and Rebecca. Um, awesome to have you all on board and everyone else. Um, hopefully this has been useful for you. It's been a great day, honestly, really, really loved it. Those are, and if you're thinking those are sort of examples, uh, those are sort of questions I'm going to get. Yeah, they're fairly typical of uh, a lot of forces, although every force has their own unique style of final or in-force interview, sometimes called a senior interview. So this, these questions here, I know the sort of questions that crop up for this force that this individual is applying for. But of course, in the online interview course, I cover everything. And this is what I try and get my clients to do. Cover everything, just in case next week they change the style of the interview. You never know, you never know. All right, so uh, from York, the beautiful sunny uh, sunshine on the Minster there. 
Um, stay safe. I shall catch up with you soon, folks. Uh, actually, tomorrow night, I shall catch up with you at the start of course number 11 um, for the Online Assessment Centre. I've had to change it from tonight because tonight I've got to go straight now to a commitment, a family commitment that's just cropped up today, um, which I, I can't avoid. So that's why we're not doing the start of 11 2022 tonight. We're doing it tomorrow. I've got to go now. Otherwise, I'm going to be late for this family commitment. Um, it's OK. Everything's fine. Uh, but it's just something I've got to see to. So we're going to start the course tomorrow. Um, and uh, in another video, I'll tell you about an exciting development with the online assessment course. I'll speak to you soon, folks. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.